Hi, my name is Katrina Fenlin, and I am a research assistant working on the DCC project. I will be introducing you to the content of the DCC aggregation, what's in it for you. The aggregation of collection and item level metadata that underlies our DLF DCC beta sprint prototype is a refined version of the Institute of Museum and Library Services digital collections and content resource. To give you some sense of the scope of the resource, some raw numbers. It contains more than a million digital items from between 14 and 1500 diverse cultural heritage collections at institutions in 44 states. As part of our beta sprint, we expanded the aggregation to include target content identified by the DPLA Content Working Group, including the Library of Congress's American Memory Collections. The aggregation continues to grow to include more state libraries, historical societies, etc. In addition, we accommodated other DPLA target content of more diverse types through simultaneous supplementary meta-search, which now offers search across millions of books in the Hathi Trust, JSTOR, and Google Books. There are thousands of kinds of items represented in the aggregation, the few most common shown here. The majority of items are photos or other kinds of still image, but textual objects like digitized books also have a strong representation. Most content in the aggregation falls within the subject of social studies, especially U.S. history, which has been the focus of our growth. The resource shows potential to be strong in topics like art and science as well, with further development. Within the general subjects, particular topical strengths have emerged, including local history of cities and towns throughout the U.S., military history, in particular the Civil War and World War II, arts, Native American history, architecture, transportation, women's history, even agriculture and ranching. Through principles, collection development, and technical choices, the prototype aggregation can support discovery of very large and very small collections alike, sometimes revealing hidden gems. This is a strength of a resource founded on collections of items as opposed to a search engine over an undifferentiated mass of content. Rare yet valuable collections from obscure institutions aren't lost in a sea of bigger fish. In one example, a single rare book from a 17-item Illinois collection complements a comprehensive blueprint collection at the Newberry and scattered resources within large Library of Congress and state aggregations to evoke a compelling history of the historic Pullman train car company.